Hey there, this is Katherine Cartwright. Welcome. I've got some new stuff that I saw at my local Michaels. These are 12 by 12 sized collection packs is what they are calling them. Um, this is from Recollections and super cute. It had a pretty good price point. And so I'm going to show you, I think there's six or seven packs. Um, I'm going to flip through and let you see what is inside. A little bit, something a little different. Um, they've already released a lot of their paper pads and um, those kind of things. But this is kind of a collection. So you get some um, gemstones. You can see there, there are uh, these beautiful papers. They're one-sided. They're a pretty good weight. They're not the heaviest. Um, I, I think it has the gram weight on there. It's a little less heavy than their paper pads but it is still a gracious plenty heavy. It is not um, super lightweight, I can tell you that. And then, um, so those are the papers, and then they have these adorable stickers. These have some gold foil, and I know this is very fast, um, but I wanted to get this out to you so you could see it and, and head over to your store if you're interested. I'm sure these will sell out, so I didn't want to waste time <laughs> um, taking too long. There's some washi tape in there, a little washi banner um, border pieces I should say I'm trying to get the words out and then here is some ephemera I love these ephemera pages that you can pop out there's some words and then they also include three pieces of this is a lighter weight paper and to me that would be perfect to make envelopes that is what I'm going to use mine for I've got an envelope maker that I got from Recollections at Michael's uh, a while ago and that is going to be perfect to work with um, envelopes so that's the first one. This is Glistening Snow. Lots of gemstones. This paper, it's hard to see, but there is a beautiful shimmer to it. And, um, and back to the release. So they've released a lot of the smaller paper pads, the 12 by 12, the 6 by 6s So some of these patterns will be similar, if not the same. So if you've already picked up your paper collections from Michael's, this would be redundant for you, but if you haven't, this is something kind of new and fresh, the way that they're putting this out with the stickers included, the washi kind of border tape. Uh, tape is the word I think I was trying to think of. And then also the alphabets are kind of fun. I thought that was a fun um, new thing that they've added, and a lot of these have a color or a shimmer foil to them. And then here are some more ephemera. And then concluding this one with three papers and that one at the back, that silver one has kind of that same shimmer that was included on this front page. So just really, really fun. Super fun. Okay, we're moving on. This is the next one to, uh, called Snow Day. It's got a fun, large page. So I think that would be great for scrapbooking with that little Santa at the bottom. Um, I love these ornaments on here. This just has a really fun color palette. And um, this little scene, winter scene, is really, really cute. We've got some polka dots. So definitely some things that you could use outside of holiday um, or winter cards. This one has a red background with some beautiful uh, sparkly snowflakes. And then you can see this has a little Santa um, with the kind of iridescent um, foil on there just really really pretty and here's some more of that washi tape just a lot of fun and then here are some really cute ephemera elements as well and then again three solid papers in the back will round out this collection called snow day and i love that they include the gemstones too and there are a lot of them here's christmas cheer this one has this beautiful snowman. The detail on it is incredible on this for a printed page. It, it just, I was really stunned um, by some of the graphics on this. Just really, really impressed. But a fun tree. Got some plaid here. This is a fun one. I'm hoping I can color some of those little pieces in there. See if they'll work with my markers. I love this kind of um, modern tree one that's got some foil in it as well. This one has some red foil in the sticker sheet and I love the adorable cardinal here. That had have it's uh, that went fast, I know, but it had a little Santa that was in the washi tape and here are some more fun elements with the ephemera. And then again, three more solid pages in the background to help round out your collection. So 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 cute.
Okay, here's Retro Christmas. I think this one um, is my favorite one. I, I really like retro stuff. Uh, some of this stuff was kind of retro when I was growing up, I should say, from the 60s. I was born in the 70s. So some of these things look familiar, um, things I would see in my parents' ornaments and things like that. So some of it looked familiar. Uh, I love the poinsettia on this one. And then these beautiful um, ornaments. So pretty. And then this is my favorite part of it. It has this fun kind of rickrack paper that has the iridescent um, touches. And there's just a lot of fun elements in here. Um, and again, the price point was great because they were on sale. And I like how they've kind of pulled this whole thing together. So maybe you're a card maker, but you're only a card maker at Christmas. This would be the kit for you. Um, if you already have like a paper cutter and some glue, you could really go to town with a collection like this and get all of your holiday cards and um, needs met. Here is Candy Brights. This is a really bright, colorful one. Has this kind of scrapbook page in the front with a um, little collection of the sweet shop. You could use that to um, scrapbook a page. Love, love, love the snowflake. That ombre is incredible. We've got some stripes here on a diagonal. Lots of fun candy pieces in this and lots of colors. And then I thought that was kind of cool, this pink and red put together. And here are some more candy elements. Really, really cute. And then just kind of a, um, a sparkly uh, snowflake. So something a little bit different that gives you some variety in that pack. I really, really liked that. We've got some bright colors with the washi tape. And then this is my favorite um, uh, alphabet sheet. I couldn't think of the word. And then we've got some ephemera. So I guess I should say that's my favorite um, alphabet sheet as well. And then we've got some more solid paper to round out this collection. Okay, the last one is Frosted Juniper, which is beautiful. Has a lot of gray and blues in it. So, so pretty. There's You start with this page that has um, the trees at the bottom. This one is a beautiful poinsettias in this one. And then there's some kind of stars. I love the blue and green on this one with the wreath. And this one looks like a wallpaper to me. Absolutely beautiful. This one I'm really excited about. This is a gold foil one that I'm wondering if I can color with some markers or maybe watercolor. Here's some more of those stickers. We've got the washi tape on here with all of those similar patterns. We've got gold foiled alphabet and then this one has some tags in it and some other ephemera pieces. And then in conclusion, the last is the three pages of the solid cardstock and that will wrap up Frosted Juniper. Super, super pretty. So here are all the collections um, that I shared with you. If you're interested, be sure and check it out at your Michaels um, local store or online. I don't think these will last very long. So happy crafting and have a great day.